Tanch and are settled in for an incredible panel on Maharashtra. Uh, state focused contribution of Department of Cultural Affairs in spreading film culture and development of the film industry in the lovely state of Maharashtra. That's the panel you're about to sit for. Before we begin this panel, I'd love for us to play a video so you get an idea of what it is that Maharashtra has to offer. Maharashtra, the birthplace of Indian cinema, beholds many treasures that are worth cherishing. The Mecca of Indian cinema is the birthplace of many stories that went places. The well-established sobriquet, Maya Nagri, very aptly describe the potential this maximum city holds. Nestled in the heart of Mumbai, a world of glitz moves and shakes the entertainment industry. The Dada Saheb Farke Chitranagri. Popularly known as Film City, this 521 acres of lush green picturesque land was built in 1977 with the efforts of Government of Maharashtra to provide facilities to the film industry. Film City is an integrated film studio complex in Mumbai. It is one of the largest studio complexes in India. It virtually has every facility that a filmmaker needs, making it the most preferred destination for every discerning producer. This is the world where you can put your imagination to test and shoot out your thoughts. Over the last hundred years, the Indian film industry has grown by leaps and bounds and has undergone amazing technological changes. Film City has witnessed many memorable movies, iconic television serials and has grown up with Indian cinema hand in hand. Many eminent stalwarts of Indian cinema are indebted to Film City for this enthralling journey. To accelerate growth and foster creativity, Film City has created a ready-to-shoot, pollution-free infrastructure. Film City today offers 16 exquisite AC studios, ranging from 2,000 square feet to 20,000 square feet for indoor shoots, 90 state-of-the-art makeup rooms, immaculate pre- and post-production facilities. More than 65 outdoor locations, including special locations such as helipad, lake, temple, and court. Many of these outdoor locations have been named after iconic movies shot at these locations. With the changing times, Film City has also become one of the preferred choices for content producers of several OTT platforms. Film City is in the process of redeveloping this magnificent place. A master plan is being worked out to include components such as newly equipped studios, amusement park, Bollywood museum, and many more attractions. In addition to that, government of Maharashtra is also in the process to come up with a comprehensive film, media, and entertainment policy. And the management of Film City has played a vital role in shaping it. Come. Witness a world-class infrastructure that brews creativity and presents a breeding ground for some path-breaking stories. Dada Saheb Farke Chitranagri, a creative wonderland where imagination prospers. So without further ado, I'd like to bring up on stage Mr. Vikas Kharge, the IS, IAS Principal Secretary to the Chief Minister of Maharashtra and Principal Secretary, Department of Cultural Affairs. Please come up on stage, sir. We, all, we also have Mr. Ashok Rane, film critic. Please come on stage, sir. We have Sri Mahesh Manjrekar, producer, writer, director, actor. And Abhijit Satam, actor, director, producer. And last but not least, our moderator, Dr. Santosh Pathare. He's a director, actor, and a writer. And I'll let him take over the panel from here. Thank you, sir. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you for this panel discussion. Dada Saheb Farke Chitradurgi, as you have uh, say, uh, seen just now in the AV, it is managed by Maharashtra Film Stage and Cultural Development Corporation Limited. It is popularly known as Film City, established on 26 September 1977 by government of Maharashtra to promote cinema, theater, culture, and performing arts. Situated in suburb of Mumbai, spread over 521 acres of lush green land, Film City provides married outdoor as well as indoor shooting locations. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are uh, for panel discussion, and our topic is contribution of Department Cultural Affairs, Government of Maharashtra, in spreading film culture and development of film industry in Maharashtra. I have with us the very uh, eminent panelist with me, Mr. Vikas Kharge, Principal Secretary to the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, and also Principal Secretary of Department of Cultural Affairs. We have with us Mahesh Mandreka, well-known director and actor, Mr. Ashok Rane, renowned film scholar and filmmaker, and Mr. Abhijit Satam, actor, director, and very dynamic personality in contemporary Marathi industry. Uh, so we are uh, just give a round of applause, and uh, we will begin with our panel discussion. Hello. So uh, first of all, uh, I would like to begin with Mr. Vikas Kharge because our government of Maharashtra is always promoting good cinema and various measures are taken by government of uh, Maharashtra. So sir, I would like to ask you that what are the policies implemented by government of Maharashtra in this respect? Yeah, thank you so much, Santoji. First of all, I would like to clarify whatever happening in Maharashtra in film sector, state government is just a facilitator. The film industry has come not because of government efforts alone, but because of people like Mahesh Ji and Mr. Satam Ji and so many others. So it is a contribution by many eminents who are working in this field tirelessly with devotion, with sincerity. That's why the film industry has, in Maharashtra has grown up. Government role is just to support the activity. And yes, Maharashtra government understands the importance of this sector. It not only entertains the people, but it creates the employment also. As a state government, our role is to support such sectors which creates employment, which adds to the GDP of the people, and which ultimately gives and spread happiness among the people of Maharashtra. So as you are asking, Maharashtra government is proactively working in this field to support this film industry. As we have seen in the film, we have a film city in Goregaon, Mumbai. In addition to that, we have another film city in Kolhapur. Basically, Marathi movies are shot there. In addition to these two studios, very good infrastructure. We have investment, lot of amount and money and efforts in that. We have separate an IS officer who is the MD of this film city, Kolhapur, uh, Mumbai, and also joint director level officer is also there at Kolhapur Chitranagri. In addition to these infrastructural things, we have certain policies and support to the film industry. For Marathi regional movies, we are giving incentives to the Marathi films after their production and after their distribution. We are giving amount 40 lakhs rupees, 30 lakhs rupees as an incentive to the Marathi movies so that quality Marathi movies are created in Maharashtra. And this is a helping hand to the newcomers Many, many newcomers, many, many de debut directors and producers are there. So this is how we are helping the Marathi movie to create quality movies. Another thing, those who are coming with the theme of creating good quality movie in Marathi based on the historical persons, like Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, so many eminent personalities are there. On their lives, if somebody is coming to the government that here is the script, we, have, we want to have a Marathi film. So we entirely sponsor that film. That is another scheme that we have. Yeah. Yeah. 
the third thing is that we are promoting the marathi movie at the global level at cannes festival in france and also here in the goa festival always we support three marathi movies here also there are three marathi movies that we have supported they are here in the international uh, this goa festival and also at the cannes and another thing in maharashtra many people many organizations they are also organizing international film festivals in maharashtra pune international film festival is there asian film festival that is in mumbai mami film festival is in mumbai uh, dr rani is here he, he is coordinating for the ajanta film festival in aurangabad sambhaji nagar so so many people and organizations they are organizing marathi uh, the international film festivals including marathi and many international movies and hindi movies and regional languages movies so for these film festivals also yeah. maharashtra government is helping us these are the major yes. uh, initiatives that we are taking thank you sir for your very much insight now i will uh, uh, come to uh, rane sir because he is taking various films in the very uh, film festival especially in kans we have the uh, representation of marathi cinema in kan uh, market so sir what is the output last i think 6 years we are taking this films so what is the output of uh, this all activities govern uh, means implemented by government of maharashtra uh, namaskar uh, as santosh mentioned uh, government of maharashtra uh, sends three marathi films to kan film market uh, the idea behind that uh, maharashtra government as kharge uh, sir has explained just now so they are always there to help marathi cinema various art form but very since he has spoken about cinema so they are doing so much for cinema they are uh, uh, grant in ad and they have uh, the beautiful film city, film city there and many other thing they are providing and in the in that process they decided one day that why should not the marathi cinema are giving everything so we should take marathi cinema to world market we should help them to go to world market and exploit whatever they can do there and the idea came and then uh, we decided to go to kan so last 8 years we are taking three marathi, marathi films to kan excepting those two years in between of covid so six time we have been to kan we took 18 films we took uh, 18 producers 18 directors and they were staying there and they were um, um, given all the opportunity to interact with the international sales agent and business people marketers distributors all kinds of people and then they were given opportunity to sell their film there so and then we have a studio or a uh, um, booth there in kan or own booth in kan and then we uh, show uh, make a screening of these three films two screening per film and we invite all the people and through this uh, digital this thing so we approach we before we go to kan we contact 12000 uh, people from all over the country all over the world they are uh, sales agents and all kind of people market people and all that and we provide all kind of information about these three films and then that interaction start before we go to kan and then we go there and by the time all meetings are fixed and then meetings are taking place and uh, last eight as i it said eight years 18 films we took and uh, the most of this film they they uh, they could do this kind of interact with these people and some of them succeeded in selling the film there in kan and uh, uh, right up to that i remember that film called ringan which was mm. sold in um, uh, australia the australia distributor came forward and he took the film and the film was uh, released in australia also so this kind of things are happening last 8 years now we are this is just the beginning and the more in the government is doing so much for this only the filmmaker has to take more little initiative to take the only the filmmaker can do this not government or person i am taking care of all this delegation i at uh, to an extent i help them but then the filmmaker and they are doing a very great job now here also in Ka- goa last three years i am uh, attending this market here and the way our marathi filmmaker they come and they interact with the uh, market people here the uh, distributors and all that really it is something amazing so uh, alongside that what we are doing in kan we are also approaching various film festival directors and through that we have been succeeded in taking those films to various film festival world over okay. they have been selected there 
and then uh, there is always a, there is a film school then the, some archive they also come forward and they they try to have some uh, dealing with uh, filmmakers to have their films in their archive and their film school and uh, i will uh, like to uh, just mention here that new york film school they are always there in khan with their 25 to 30 students every year and every year last 8 years they they approach me and they select one film out of the three and they watch that movie and along with that filmmaker they have a very good dialogue about two hours dialogue with the student students and marathi filmmaker so this is a good sign something good happening the more is more what the government want want kid there should be exposure they should be connected with the world over this is the main aim uh, behind this khan and this goa thing and this is what happening all this thing i'm really happy about that Thank as you. you rightly said that government is taking their measures but from the producers and uh, director side also there should be uh, some measures to be taken to make marathi cinema more popular in the other regions and on international level mahesh sir uh, what uh, you would like to add on this point particular good evening today we are at such a stage i think uh, in indian cinema marathi cinema is making its mark uh, the choice of subjects uh, makers we have are on par with the best in the country what what we lack is a market outside of maharashtra today uh, when i look at south cinema uh, they have taken it all over the country so and how have they taken it all over the country by just dubbing it into the hindi language what we need to do is we need a wider audience for marathi cinema uh, there are people here who are non marathis who are seeing it in marathi on ott and uh, there's so many people who call and say the marathi cinema is fantastic so are we going to wait for that audience you know who are going to see it on ott what we need to do is see today uh, the state is such ki there was a time when cinema was star driven today it is content driven when um, like Vidhu Vinod Chopra makes three idiots and Munna Vai series and you know, and suddenly he makes a film called Twelfth Fail and it is appreciated by the people. That shows today ki content is the king. It was not a star driven cinema. What we need to do is find that audience who are ready to accept that cinema. Like today in the whole, even a Hindi cinema like uh, Badai Ho does well or Twelfth Fail does well. It shows that the audience is ready. We have the content. We have the makers who are doing good cinema. So why not? So, and it started with uh, Mr. V. Shantaram, who made all his films as a bilingual. Yes. So what are we waiting for? We have the best set of actors. I think um, the theater background which Maharashtra has is the best in the country. We have some wonderful actors. So why don't we uh, take them all over the country? and? Uh, out, out, outside of the country also, but there are, the government of Maharashtra is definitely taking good measures to see that the film is going um, out of the country. People like uh, Mr. Rani is really working hard to see that, you know, cinema is noticed. But we need to popularize Marathi cinema all over the country. And as an example, I can give you an example of Kannada cinema, which was again, you know, suffering and suddenly one KKR and KKR, what is that, RRR? RRR takes it all over the country. Today, Kannada film industry is thriving. Why should Marathi industry not thrive? Like they say, you know, even a, a film producer or a film distributor says, if a film runs in Maharashtra, it is, if it does not do well anywhere, but only in Maharashtra, it is fine. So when we have such a uh, great platform, why don't we, we should look at dubbing our films in Hindi and releasing not, if not simultaneously, at least two weeks later, for the audience outside. It, it, it not, Rome was not built in a day, so it won't start immediately. But we can make an effort, slowly, slowly, uh, people will be aware that Marathi cinema has fantastic content. Yes, you are, uh, as you rightly said that, I think the producers will take care of this, that we will not make only our means Marathi cinema confined to the Maharashtra. It will go beyond the boundaries. And Abhijit, uh, sir, also mentioned about the OTT platform. 
and of course now cinema is not confined to theater i think uh, it is going beyond it is going on digital uh, platform so what do you think about this digital platform and how what are uh, the what are the measures we can take to good evening uh, so we come from the land of the pioneer of indian cinema dada sahab phalke we are always been a industry which has been built by creators and today we are in the era of the creators we call it the creators economy so if you look at even the everyday creators who are creating content on social media and they can engage an audience on average to 4 hours per day every one of us unknowingly is watching social media content or content created by creators 4 hours per day now let's amplify this if we amplify these kind of technologies to take our own films marathi films the focus with to a large audience through the newer technologies platforms it's not just a market which we should be focusing on which is just maharashtra because marathi or we are we are already in the hyper connected world we have to use this hyper connectivity through our technologies and platforms to take our cinema to audiences not just outside maharashtra but outside india because good stories are consumed watched loved shared all across the globe so i feel this is what uh, platforms like uh, otts or uh, or we have various models now which where cinema can be monetized uh, like otts there is we call it the swat subscription video on demand platforms like in youtube which is advertising video on demand and there is another way of how cinema can be monetized which is called tvot which is transactional video on demand let's imagine a scenario that today taking marathi films if we plan a marathi theatrical release limited to maharashtra but then your film doesn't need to be just in theaters at the same time you can simultaneously release with some maybe a gap of 2 3 days all across the globe and till the hype of the film is there so film going to a film is always you know a kind of a, a impulsive decision we have we have all, always seen cinema look looked at cinema like uh, whenever there is a hype around the film whenever that film uh, needs to be enjoyed it's it's like a social experience what if this social experience of watching films is shared digitally all across the globe i think monetizing uh, films through these technologies is the way forward i think this is the future of cinema maybe we this can this is happening everywhere. everywhere just let's yeah. take for example just to i'm, I'm just yeah. giving you a very different example uh, don't we order food for uh, from any of the restaurants and we are okay to pay an extra 100 rupees to get it digitally to our doorstep we can do that for films as well because films like food entertainment is required and content is required it is the way of life sir uh, i would like to ask you because we are talking about only marathi cinema but maharashtra is a land of cinema <laughs> means bollywood is also situated in our mumbai so uh, here i think there are so many people from outside of maharashtra and we have beautiful locations we have so many facilities so how uh, we are uh, like providing or uh, some facilities you can throw a light yeah see maharashtra is a place where uh, you can do everything about the cinema uh, end to end you can have all the uh, sis all the all the things of cinema in maharashtra you can come here you will have pre production production post production distribution everything is there in mumbai and maharashtra maharashtra is blessed with very beautiful scenic places which are very good for film shootings we have beautiful beaches we have uh, chatrapati shivaji maharaj 350 forts are there we have historical places we have uh, good forest we have wildlife you take a name uh, religious places are there out of 12 jyotirlingas we have five, five jyotirlingas in maharashtra so you name it of a category of a place you will find in maharashtra 
another very important thing in maharashtra is that excellent talent resources in in every sections of the film making maybe actors technicians directors script writers you take a name yeah. all the talent pool is available in maharashtra and i would like to mention here maharashtra and especially the private sector there are many schools and colleges which are available in maharashtra in mumbai in pune and other places which are producing directors actors script writers cinematographers dance classes are there so private sector government government of course government of india's fti film and television institute is there in pune but other than the government central government schools so many schools and colleges related to film industry are available in maharashtra maharashtra government especially as you mentioned for the other producers of other states and other countries again we have a single window system if you want to shoot in maharashtra just online you apply to the single window system which is managed by film city mumbai and you will get a permission within few days you need not run to pillar and post to get the permissions so that system is in place in maharashtra also we are thinking to have a policy where currently you have to pay fees for shooting at government locations if you want to shoot in a beach or in some government premises or in forest area you have to pay fees so we are coming up, we are thinking to coming with a policy that there there won't be any fees everything will be free so in short time we will come with that policy also yeah. then you see lot of say thinking is going on in maharashtra to have a new film policy also as it was mentioned in the film also yeah. so lot of future say incentives and support system will be in place in maharashtra so i appeal to all the producers which are outside maharashtra come to maharashtra you will get yeah. everything all supports further we are very open for the discussion if you have any new ideas about say having more facilitation for the film production in maharashtra we are ready for that also very good so i think uh, in the audience uh, maybe they have few questions so we will uh -huh. very well said that uh, thank you uh, that you would like to welcome the producers outside maharashtra to come here so my question is pertinent to post production industry in maharashtra i mean no doubt it's tremendous here so for foreign producers you know when we come here um, because you know post production is obviously cost effective for us some of the challenges pertinent to cultural affairs what we face is things become expensive the moment they you because there is no standardized norm to my knowledge yet uh, with respect to cost b we uh, uh, is there a better business bureau uh, kind of support system here or compliance management here because for instance when even though we do we hire legal team we do co uh, contracts legal contracts for every step but then there are, we get ditched i mean i have personally faced many scenarios wherein uh, those contracts have been uh, betrayed and then now for any foreign producer it's not feasible to fight the legal battle it's may, it may not be worth time uh, or money to you know fight those small battles so is there from maharashtra government a compliance or better business support now i'm collaborating meeting a lot of um, you know foreign other producers but the fear is oh i know the moment they hear foreign producer the cost will be expensive there is no compliance management i'll have to have way more legal you, you're hearing me so for those challenges i being an indian daughter originally i hope and pray there there is some support from indian government for naive foreign producers like me yeah no i this is a very good question currently we don't have that system currently we have only support system for giving permission for the film shooting but after producing a film if you have any financial or legal complications with somebody in maharashtra there is no support system let me agree this but definitely we will think on that we can have a separate cell we will definitely work on that just to help legally and facilitate with the many other stakeholders with whom you want to fight or you want to have a compromise etc we will definitely think to have a forum within government in film city to help and support and facilitate these things we will definitely think on that thank you uh, just uh, one line 
something like Better Business Bureau. So for instance, in America, if uh, somebody does something wrong, one can file a complaint. Instead of going the whole long legal route, you can just file a complaint in Better Business Bureau, you know? So uh, I hope that there can be some kind of small compliance management Better Business Bureau uh, kind of set up. I'm not saying help us out through the whole legal system, just a compliance support that one can knock the door and help us in the initial phase of post-production guidance or, uh, you know, compliance support. I, yeah. I got it. Yeah. We mm -hmm. have such a separate cell, which is called as Maitri. Yeah? It is a friendship cell for industry department. For various industries, when they come and invest in Maharashtra, if they have some legal issues, and that support system is there. But for the film industry, those who are coming in Maharashtra and having some problems after post-production, then currently, definitely, we will work together with film uh, with, with industry department and film city we will definitely think to think to have such forum for the support system meji would you like to say something on this uh, no i think um, it depends on the quality of work you want also you can't have a fixed norm you know because uh, there are so many vfx studios which are working for the post production it depends on the quality also so that i i i feel somewhere if you have done a contracting and then if you can go legally here, that should be the only answer. Here, I don't think the government of Maharashtra can take a stand. You know, you should take that much money for a post-production. Why are the people coming from US here? Because they feel it is cheaper here. Yeah. So why should it be cheaper? You know, if we are giving quality. So that, I don't think the government can take a stand on that. But if, if you all are cheated, like if I make a contract and if you all are cheated, then the, I think the government of Maharashtra can step in. Thank you. So what I, I think we, someone here also wants to answer, ask a question. We have uh, time is a major factor, yeah. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, I'm an Indian Australian uh, filmmaker. Uh, we've worked on good films like Lion, Slumdog Millionaire, uh, recent with Money Heist as well. I'm a pro biker. Uh, from middle class Parsi family. I think the biggest issue, uh, and I feel the word goes to state focus, is if Maharashtra made a film like Money Heist, which was a flop show on Spanish TV, but pulled by Netflix, collaborated with good creatives, and made into an international cult, is what I think Maharashtra government needs to focus on with their creatives. And that's, I think, where we have international focus and exposure alongside with incentives and good rebates by the Maharashtrian government, which other state governments are also giving. So I think uh, as a pro Mumbaiker, and I love uh, filming in Mumbai, the incentives is what we crave for. Uh,